Last year, as you know, 43 and 39. That was the eighth seed in the East. Wall and Beal will get a nursing the sore muscle in his buttocks. Meantime, the Guangzhou. I'm bigger than what they are. So we're underway here in Washington. 17 feet out. Spates has played for a number of teams, including last year with Orlando. This is what he does, and that's how he hits. By Washington, good play by Austin Rivers. Here's Sadoransky. Sadoransky had a nice game against Detroit. Otto Porter hits that jumper, which is good to see. Sure, and, and control the pace like John Wall. And when he's out, best believe you have some big shoes to fill. Spates again knocks it. Oh, Jason Smith was terrific in that game. Went five of eight from the field at 14 points. And Sid looks even thinner now and in all the right places. And he's having a terrific uh, preseason. And if he can rim protector in the world, not just not just domestically uh, in, in America, but in the world, he's a top three rim protector. Mobile, you can see it playing his part right now. And there he is getting a rebound for Porter, who goes off the glass, score the field goal, and Otto with a chance for a three-point play, if you can. And Mahin me. Has looked really good in the preseason. I'm, I'm impressed and I'm, I'm happy to see that because they're going to need him. Spates again. Hey, Spates. He's looking at at uh, Markeith Morris with a smile. Has a few words for him. Otto Porter knocks it down. Meantime, Spates is three for three from the field. Good shot by Otto right there. Which will play the Heat on Thursday. The Raptors here on Saturday. And then they will embark on their longest road trip. Not so bad, really, when you think about it. Uh, I'm excited about that. Here's Porter again for another three, and he knocks it down. Unfortunately, couldn't finish. C rear for Spates. Backs up for the long shot and hits again. This game is being broadcast in Chinese back to China, and... You'll have the opportunity to hear some of it. We'll actually be high. Here's Sadoransky with Morris and Rivers. Same starting five still in the game. A flush from Markeith Morris here because of that hernia surgery. Ended up playing 73 games, averaging 11 and a half points and almost six rebounds. Spates. Nice pass. Kick it out. Baseline jumper. Good. 20 teams in the CBA, which is the Chinese Basketball Association, which Guangzhou plays out of. Nice pass from, from uh, Austin Rizzo. Kyle Fogg and Maurice Spates are on this team. Although they are able to get some other additions on the squad. With that being said, if he is healthy and playing anywhere near the capacity of basketball he played last year with the Hornets, this team alone here, uh, the, a defensive presence that plays above the rim with the ability to block shots and alter uh, the offense. After Tommy acquired them at, in that trade, and uh, there you go, Kelly. Good, good basket by Kelly Oubre. Physical ability to do that, Drew. When you're as quick as John Wall is, it's just, I think it's mind over matter to play defense at that level. <laughs> it turns the guard two times in the backcourt. I mean, he is contagious. Now Brad's pushing up. Now Otto's in the passing lane for this team. Jason Smith, as you can see, is in the game with Oubre, Jason Randall, Bryant, Troy Brown, and a nice move, and the block by the big man, and here comes Washington. Troy Brown turns on the speed and scores off the glass. The types of shots you'll be seeing a lot more of this year as players are getting the green light from Scott Brooks to fire up threes. There's a great pass, and Randall scores. Great pass, but not only this year and just being engaged. Right. This is uh this is one of these these games where you're gonna have to uh, you know my career coming in as a, as a young guy playing against the Carl Malones playing against the King Olajuwon the Shaquille O'Neal's and now to where the pace of the game is I, I don't think they think and ever adapting to these athletes and their speed and size and strength here's Smith gets a nice pass can't finish but the putback is there rotated out and stunned it out so he's already has the pro game down which is impressive for a 19 year old. Bryant on the baseline, knocks it in. Tonight after that win over Vegas. Blocked inside by... Will aggressive. I mean, he's almost a, a, a carbon copy of Kel, of Kells, you know. And uh, just length, good length, good, good defender. 
and a hell of a jumper by the Long Lions. And here comes G Min Shin down court, kicks it out to Spates. Mo across the lane looking for the foul. He thought he got hit on Troy Brown. Spinning, fadeaway baseline. How do you like that? This is just now talking, man. He says he showed his development, the things that he's worked on from summer league on. He goes, he's a three position type player. He's a triple. He's got all the all the parts to be a really good player in this league. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't be surprised if he manages to work himself into a rotation early. As two nights in a row, the next you know he's playing on consistent uh, consistent basis. Beautiful pass from Jody Meeks to to his teammate. Unfortunately, they couldn't finish, but we got the ball back. Quick shoot and release. Or really, who's in the game for Washington, rookie from Morgan State. And a finish at the other end. And boy, was it a finish. Zhang Yaon Pong. Oh. And at the other end, the Wizards oh. answer with a Robinson. <laughs> Here's Kyle Fogg. This time, Spates uncontested knocks it down. Maury Slippers before last season in Orlando. He's got 25 points. Jody Meeks, boy, he is knocking him down. Nice fake. Behind the back pass is picked off by Robinson. Goes all the way and throws it down. And his head was up. Having an affiliate, they're going to be in that much better position if the, you have those rainy days or those rugged dog days where everybody's up short. Robinson, the rebound. Underneath, Thomas Robinson gets an easy flush. You're almost surprised he got that many catch and shoot shots off, but he hit him when he when he took them. Yeah, well, I, I like that stat from two, from two standpoints right here. Is that Popeye Jones? No. There's some deep trivia right now. That is about. some deep trivia. <laughs> I've got to think about my Popeye Jones stats. Those states, Murray's in Kentucky, and Morgan's up here. Pretty play, and McCray lost the ball. Three on one on the other end. That's blocked by Robinson, and blocked again. Glass, and they go into the corner. For the long three that's no good. Allen again tips it to himself for an offensive rebound. Jody Meeks fires and connects. Challenging, if not appealing the decision, but it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. And it appears he'll have to sit out the first 11th. I wonder why that happened. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't win the game, <laughs> which is unfortunate. There's two more for the big man. There he is. 24-0 start by Golden State. Remember, they finished 73-9 that year, the first round of the playoffs against Houston. But... Just like me, Buck, I had to extend my career by extending my range. Right. And he figured it out. I mean, he's in making him at a high clip. Mm -hmm. And uh, he carried that along the way to Golden State and uh, and winning the championship over there. And, you know, he's a proven winner. It's off the glass. And Chiosa down court for Robinson. Here you go. Lays it up. And it was blocked. Nice pass. And the flush by Allen is no good. And then he signed in 2013. So next season... His salary will jump to 35% of the salary cap, which is projected. He makes 19.1. I can't even count that high. I know. It's Spadeskin. But first, you got to get in the game, and hopefully that'll be Thursday night. We shall see. Great 2017 CBA draft, the Chinese Basketball Association. Here on almost the exact well, at the beginning of the season, beginning of October. This year, what drew my attention was all the injuries that happened during the regular season. I didn't think. Whoa! Guys, oh, there he is again. I and when they got to the regular season, guys were dropping like flies. So, do you think the preseason should be longer than five games? I think this would be the second year. Uh, the preseason with a record of four and one. Their only loss was their first game to the New York Knicks. They ended up beating the Knicks in New York, beating Miami, Detroit.